In old Spain, they used to say, good bread pleases the palate of king and peasant both. Today, no matter what other delicacies you may enjoy, you need bread. And if you're really hungry, it's the first thing you think of. Tasty bread knows no social boundaries. Its delicate goodness pleases the most fastidious woman. Its rich nourishment satisfies the most active worker. Tasty bread is made of carefully chosen ingredients, baked with consummate skill. And when just out of the oven, it's rushed to your grocer. Tasty bread is always good, always fresh, always the best loaf of bread in town. The Tasty Bread winners, directed by Ben Selvin, Harry DeCosta at the piano, and here they are, Billy Jones and Ernie Hare, the Tasty Loafers. How do you do, everybody, how do you do? Oh, we're known as Jones and Hare of all of you. We're two loafers now, it's said, representing Tasty Bread. How do you do, 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 do? How do you do, how do you do? How do you do, 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 do? do, do? I'm Billy Jones. I'm Ernie Hare, and we're a silly looking pair. How do you do, 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 do? Boy, you certainly do me up, especially in a restaurant. There you go again, picking on me. What have I done now? Why, in a restaurant, eating with your knife? You must have been dragged up there. No, I was brunged up, but it isn't so easy eating with a knife either. It isn't so easy, eh? No, sir. I looked all around at the other guests, and not one of them could do it. Your heart. Oh, you get out of here. There's a certain boy we know. Happy as a boy can be. Yesterday he was so blue. Blue than a deep blue sea. He is singing, whistling a tune. All the live long day. When his sweetie asked him why, he replied this way. I've got the funniest feeling. It was something you said. You've got me walking on the tip of my toes and my head's on the side of my head. All of my troubles are mended. You're my needle and thread. You've got me walking on the tip of my toes and my head's on the side of my head. Oh, that wonderful smile. Oh, I fell from the start. You should listen a while to the thump, thump, thump of my poor old heart. We've got a wonderful future. Wonderful. Rosy and red. You've got me walking on the tip of my toes and my hat's on the side of my head. I've got the funniest deal in. It was something you said. You've got me walking on the tip of my toes and my hat's on the side of my head. All of my troubles are mended. You're my needle and thread. You've got me walking on the tip of my toes and my hat's on the side of my head. Oh, that wonderful smile. Oh, I fell from the star. You should listen a while to the thump, 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 and a thump, poor old heart. We've got a wonderful future, one that's rosy and red. You've got to walk it on the tip of my toes and my hat's on the side of my head. You know, I saw you and your wife at the show last night, honey. Yeah. But your wife didn't see me. Oh, so she told me. Well. You know, uh, she also said that you left uh, in the second act of uh, the show, you know. What was the matter? Didn't she enjoy the show? Oh, the show was all right, but the program said Act 3 is the same as Act 1, so I didn't <laughs> I say. see, yeah. Who was the gentleman with you and the wife at the show last night? Oh, oh that was, uh, was a cousin of mine, Bill, from upstate. Well. He's a big pants manufacturer from the county seat. Well, what become of that other cousin, Sean, Charlie, what's his name, Hanswagler? Oh, uh, Charlie, <laughs> oh, that just reminds me, too. I've got to see Charlie tomorrow about 1.30. Yeah, and I'd like to see him tomorrow myself about two tens and a five, Ernie. Oh, I see. <laughs> Just for this 
like those low-down love songs you sing, Ernie. What do you mean, low-down? Well, hey, 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 come up, come up into your own territory and watch your own onion. I'll take care of the low-down stuff, as you call it. All right, don't get upset, will you? Uh, say, Bill, tell me something, will you? Why did you ever break off the engagement with your girl back home? Why, well, gee whiz, she wanted to get married, Ernie. Oh, I see. And I had plenty of chances to get married here in New York. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but I didn't want to take a chance. Ernie. Well, now, is it is it true that you're a self-made man, Bill? Yes, why? Well, why did you ever give yourself such a face? Now, wait a second, Ernie. Yeah, Please. but wait, listen, before you two loafers come to blows... I'll have our guests soften those hearts of yours. Connie Gates, in real spring mood. Ho, hum. Ho, hum, spring is here now. Ho, hum, skies are very clear now. Ho, hum, love is near now for you and Goodbye to winter. I'll see you next year. Hello to springtime. Gee, I'm glad you're here. Listen, you flipper. Get yourself outside. Come on, my sweetheart. Let's go for a ride. No more snowing, violets are growing, oh, would you like to take a walk, just you and me, spring is here now, skies are very clear now, oh, do you think it's gonna rain on you and me? All the world is sweet once again. Heaven's at my feet once again. Oh, hum, lazy weather. Oh, hum, I'm feeling like a feather. Oh, hum, we're together. And so, oh, hum. We have with us this evening a very distinguished guest. The makers of Tasty Bread feel highly honored in being able to present this famous diplomat and statesman. It's with extreme pleasure that I now introduce the most honorable and worthy Hot Long of China. Hello, everybody. <laughs> if Kate Smith is listening in, there'll be another war in China, believe me. I wonder what he just said. Does anybody know? Well, sure. Bill and I speak Chinese language fluently, Lou. Yeah, sure. So we'll translate everything Hop Long says. That's great, Ernie. He just said that uh, our friend Kate Smith won't be jealous because the mountains the moon came over is in China. <laughs> <laughs> our honorable guest evidently understands English. Uh, he speak a very, very little American talk to you, but me understand me. Well, then tell me, kind sir, what is your favorite American song? Not for all the life in China. You sing up? Oh, no, no, but Connie will sing a newer song later on. Just now, we're more eager to know how things are over in China. Say, Ernie, ask our friend how business is in Pekin. All right. <laughs> Get this, Lou. He says everybody in Pekin is uh, up against the stone wall. Yeah, and he also said the biggest industry, the laundry business, is bad. He claims that the starch is knocked right out of it because the customers pay on the cup. <laughs> <laughs> he certainly has a sense of humor. I wonder if our guest is a Mandarin. Well, I'll ask him. <laughs> he says he's not a Mandarin, but he has a guitar. <laughs> Mr. Hare must have asked him if he was a mandolin. That's quite evident, Connie. Perhaps he can answer my question in English. Tell me, worthy sir, what do you think of these tasty bread programs? Very good, very good, but me like a nasty man better. You want to buy a duck? <laughs> <laughs> he, he's frank, if nothing else. My name is not Frank. Hop along, my name is... Well, now tell me, who is the favorite moving picture actress in the Far East? You don't want a song, but who I am. Yeah, he, says, he says the Far East has all gone May West. 
Bly and Bly, I come again. Now must go. Good Bly. Well, just one more question, please, and this concerns everybody here. Ernie, ask our venerable and esteemed guest how the bread business is in China. All right. Here's a laugh, Lou. He says the bread business is the only business with dough in it. Well, I suppose that is, providing that bread is as delicious as tasty. Rice is their favorite dish, but every well-bred Chinaman goes for bread in a big way. Before we bid Hoplong goodbye, I'd like to know if he likes tasty bread. Ask him, Ernie, please. All right, all right. Hello, so I so if I see you, so I tasty bread. He don't go so to him, but I don't want to be able to He says yes. Now the boys are picking posies, you know who's to blame. 